And for today's video, we have a super special one for you guys because we're taking you on an adventure to eat a bunch of local food. This place is a iconic local staple. You guys know that local combinations has to include some terry sticks and hamburger. Oh. Soothing to the soul. I'm gonna dip my burger into the Simon now, the dashi broth. Here we go. Oh man. Don't wanna miss this one. What's going on foodies? Welcome back to the channel. And boy, let me tell you guys, I've been sick. I've been out for almost a week. And that's all because of this damn stomach virus. And if you guys haven't noticed, look, look, how, look how much weight I lost. It's ridiculous. I couldn't eat anything. Oh man, but it's good to be back. And you know, I'm just glad to be able to, we're just glad to be able to start filming again for you guys. So here we are. And for today's video, we have a super special one for you guys because we're taking you on an adventure to eat a bunch of local food and we want to take you guys along. Let's just say this place is a iconic local staple that's been around since 1969. So don't want to miss this one. And as you guys know, we're freaking starving. Look at this guy. Look at this. No chins. He's Bro, so skinny now. I'm telling you guys, one week, no eating. I couldn't even stomach a banana. That's how bad it was. <laughs> but anyway, more on that a little later. And if you guys have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And give this video a big thumbs up. If you like local food, local grinds, and you want to support us, give this video a big thumbs up as well. So let's get eating because we're starving. Let's go. Let's go. And before we get into today's content, we want to introduce you guys to our very first sponsorship. Yay! And thank you guys so much. We couldn't have gotten this sponsor without your guys' support. So thank you so much. And we want to introduce you to today's sponsor. And it is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community where you and millions of others can explore new skills with thousands of classes. And Skillshare has a variety of classes to fit your schedule and your skill level. And the great thing about Skillshare is there's no ads, guys. So there's no interruptions when you're trying to focus on your new skill. And there's no schedule, so you can always learn on your time. There's many classes to choose from, like creative classes like video, film, illustration, animation, creative writing, and even lifestyle classes like entrepreneurship, interior design, freelancing, and marketing. And to create better content for you guys, we've been using Skillshare and we've been loving their classes. Right now, we've just watched Marcus Brownlee's class called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. He's a longtime YouTuber and his class has really taught us how to better our content for our video. Hana. And as you guys know, we just started YouTube not too long ago. And to be honest, we kind of just winged it. To, <laughs> like we had no idea what we were doing. We just literally trial and error for every video. And his videos has taught us a lot about tech, lighting, lenses, mics, and yeah, like, and we're slowly but surely trying to upgrade our equipment. And his classes has really taught us how to better our content. So guys, make sure you check out Skillshare. We're gonna be leaving a link down below in our description. The first thousand people who click and join using our link will get a trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So now let's get into the video because like we said, we're starving. Hello. Come here. For two. Okay. Can yeah. I take your temperature? Sure. Yeah. Uh, you don't like to sanitize your hand before I send you, please? Of course. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, look how many are. 
articles are on their wall all about their heritage. And they're taking really great COVID precautions. There's glass partitions set up, there's regular partitions. So today we are at Shiro Simon Haven. They're known, they're renowned for their Simon. And as you guys saw, their menu literally has over 60 types of combinations of Simon, which is literally insane. The combinations are limitless. You can literally customize your whole Simon bowl. There's so many different kinds of Simon. There's so many combinations, so many things to put inside. And some of these are even named after well-known people, so in the Hawaii community. It's pretty crazy. And guys, let's just say I can't be more excited to enjoy my first meal after a freaking long, arduous week of not eating. I'm just glad we're having it here at Shiro's because it's like, it's an OG spot, you know what I'm saying? It's a very iconic, very local spot. Shiro is like the pioneer of Simon, basically. He didn't invent the Simon, but he pretty much made it gourmet. He was the first one to add like, all these garnishes in it, roast duck, roast pork, you name it, whatever you want. He just throws it in there. I mean, okay. oh, yes. hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, a local fan. <laughs> well, this place, the reason why they're so well known is because they actually make their noodles in house every single day. And they're people that literally have been coming here for decades. Decades, guys. Yeah, lots of heritage in a bowl here. So what better way to come back from a damn stomach flu than come to Shiro's? <laughs> and guys, you guys know that local combinations has to include some terry sticks and hamburgers. So stay tuned for the whole episode because we got lots of food and this guy is starving. Ooh, guys, the food finally came. Couldn't have been more excited. Anticipation was killing me. I feel like I waited a whole week for this moment. Seriously, a whole week. But man, guys, do we have a spread for you today. We said Shiro's the... Oh, no problem, thank you. You can tell these noodles are homemade. And you can actually choose the doneness of your noodles too, which is actually really cool. We got one on the rare side, just because we like a nice chew to our noodles. And also because you know how we've been like filming and it takes a little while before we can start actually eating. So we didn't want our noodles to be super overly soggy. Oh, I got the chashu Simon. Chashu Simon. And I got the Ron Mizutani. So the Ron Mizutani is just like the basic char siu, simple char siu simen, but it comes with the side of burger. Because I know some of y'all said to try to dip the burger into the simen. The, from referencing our Papa Kurtz video. If you guys haven't seen that one yet, I'm gonna put a link up there somewhere. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna try that today. So that's why I got the burger over there on the side. I got my noodles rare, extra firm, how I like it. Oh, I can't wait for this. And our Simons are pretty much the same thing. Oh, we just I have like man. Oh, man. <laughs> How's your stomach feeling with that one? Oh, like, this is like, oh, this is godsend. It's like rejuvenating my whole body. Mm. 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 Oh, man, just the broth alone. Uh, this is a, quite a lot of food, guys. I hope I can still tackle all of this. But, oh. And if you guys aren't aware of what Simon is, it's pretty much like a local, mm. like a local, what's that called? Like plantation food. So it's like a mix of Chinese, Japanese, like all kinds of different ethnicities, flavors, all in a bowl. Pretty much when the plantation workers come to Hawaii, all the cultures mixed and so did our food. So now we eat this thing called Simon. Mm. Thank goodness for Cheryl. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like I said, Simon is a very, very humble dish, guys. Very humble. Guys, this is amazing. I mean, amazing as in like, you guys gotta remember, like, you guys gotta harken back to the simpler times in life, you know, and just appreciate where it all began. You know, you can't always just think, oh, what's the most flamboyant? Guys, this is where it all started. And what I mean by amazing, I mean like, you can see how this pretty much set the, the pathway, you know, for local flavors. I mean, if you look at Shiro's extensive menu, they have other local dishes too. They have lao lao, hotel stew, chili, 
katsu, like everything you can name. Simon is very traditional. Noodles are very al dente, nice and chewy. Chashu is really meaty, flavorful. The garnishes are pretty much matha cabbage and side of, um, I think this is luncheon meat with some wontons in here. But the star is definitely the soup base and the noodles. The noodles are homemade, fresh daily, so definitely can taste the difference. And the broth, guys. Simple dashi broth, soothing to the soul. Well, I pretty much gave my two cents what I thought, but mm -hmm. my favorite is pretty much how all the garnishing is, I don't want to say minced, I want to say it's like thinly cut and prepared in a way where it gives you like a good noodle to garnish ratio. You don't have to like stress about, you know, like for example, oxtail soup or something, you got to bite off the bone, you know, before you can eat some noodle. Like everything can like fit in a spoon. You can like stack your spoon and eat it all in one bite. So not all Simons come with wonton, but I like my wonton mints, especially like the one from Zippy's. So usually just dip it in some hot mustard, show you hot mustard mixture. Ooh. Uh, hot mustard mm -hmm. gives it a nice kick. Oh, a wonton is good too. Mm -hmm. well, I'm already done eating a Simon if I eat the sides. And wonton, if you didn't know, is pretty much like a Chinese style dumpling that they put in the soup. Ooh, so good. Oh, until company me today. No, we couldn't eat local food without getting Green River. Come on, guys. Look <laughs> at this bad boy. Oh my goodness. He's bigger than his head. Who needs a hydro flask? Just get a Green River, large size <laughs> at Cheryl's. <sighs> Simple things in life, I'm telling you guys. It really takes you getting sick to appreciate. But yeah, if you all don't know by now, Green River, lemon lime flavor, local drink. So I'm gonna have to take my glasses, guys. I'm kind of burning up here. And guys, I've talked with some of the Simon. I want to get into the terry stick. Okay, and this thing is literally doused in sauce. Oh man, it's very like, sticky. Very local style. If you like saucy, sticky, icky, good, delicious Cheers. meat sticks, this is it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that sauce. It's so sticky and sweet. It's almost like candied. You can still taste the char on the beef too. Mm. Really good. You know, to me, it's not a big deal that everything on its own is like either salty or really sweet or flavorful at like this. Because you guys gotta remember, the salmon, the dashi is very light. Because dashi is just fish broth, right? Fish stock. Mm -hmm. So it's very light. You know, it's mm. not salty at all. And pair it with the original spaghetti mac salad here at Shiro. Oh yeah, guys, fun fact. Spaghetti style mac salad, invented by Shiro's, of course. Mm. Oh yeah, oh, tastes man, good this is, stick. This is really good mac salad. Yeah, the mac salad is like creamy, but not overly wow. creamy too. It's That's really, really good. good. Do not sleep on the spaghetti mac here. This is how they all should taste. Mm. I don't know if it's because it's my first meal, but everything just so, so good. So I can just cry. Mm. Oh. oh, you know what? Why not? Since I'm already tearing up, let's get into the burger. <laughs> I want to try it by itself first. So very simple. Their beef is locally grass-fed, grown beef. They're proud of it. They advertise it as never left the island. So this cow never left the island. From farm to bun to my mouth. It's good. Mm. So good, guys. Very simple, beefy. Not like a relish sauce on there. Mayo, lettuce. It's a very typical local style hamburger, that's for sure. The beef is really good. Yeah. I didn't forget, guys. I know what you guys told me to try. I'm gonna dip my burger into the Simon now, the dashi broth. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. How is everything so good? <laughs> Thank you for that pro tip. Pro tip, guys. Dip your burger in the damn Simon and eat it. But you gotta try this. It makes it like nice and like moist, you know? And then you get the hint of the dashi and then the burger. You know? 
It's oddly like really satisfying. I don't get it. You guys just gotta try. You're either gonna love it or hate it, I guess, but I love it. Thank you to whoever mentioned that. Oh, we didn't get to the gouji yet. Mm. The gouji. Looks like very thin wrapping paper. Dip it into the yeah. hot mustard shoyu mixture here. I was wondering if they also make their own wrapper. Mm. 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 Whoa. Mm. I like that the wrapper is so thin. Oh man, it makes the meat the star of the dish. Star of the one time. The crispy gouji. Oh. Supposedly in Hawaii, this is the only place that has crispy gouji. I had no idea. But what? Supposedly, yeah. What do you mean? Crispy gouji? Yeah. I guess it's called something else everywhere else in the world. I don't know. Someone oh. in the comments mentioned that crispy gouji is only in Hawaii. Really? Mm -hmm. I think it's just called crispy wonton everywhere else. Yeah guys, uh, like I said, I am coming out of recovery. So, we didn't order as much as we wanted to. There's so many more things on the menu we wanted to try for you guys. But we'll definitely be back. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 I think my favorite thing here, definitely the Simon. Very local style, very warming for my soul. Just takes me back to my childhood. Very comforting. And that mac salad is actually really, really good. That mac salad is yeah. bar none. It's creamy, but not like, doesn't taste like overly fatty or something. You know how sometimes they can be really heavy? That one's actually kind of light on the lighter side, but very creamy. And I like the wonton because the wonton wrapper is very thin. It makes the meat, the inside, the filling, the star of the show. And the terry sticks are really good. The only thing I will say about the terry sticks is that they don't use like the best cut, but the taste is there, so it's really good. The burger kind of just tastes like a normal burger to me. So I'm like, whatever about it, but this Simon, if you come here, must, must get the Simon. I think next time when we come back, we're definitely gonna try fried Simon, because I actually like fried Simon. I actually make that at home sometimes, but definitely heartwarming. I'm gonna try something a little crazy, guys. I haven't felt this inspired in a long time. So we're gonna call this the Felix Stack Burger. So I put some of that Terry beef on my burger with spaghetti mac. Oh, this ultimate bite right here. Mm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's called the all you can ask for burger. All you can ask for. Oh, so good. You know, oddly enough, everything on its own tastes really good. Nothing is just made, how can I say this? Nothing was just made to just be available on the menu. Like, I feel like each side dish we ordered has a purpose to introduce a flavor like sweetness, savoriness, you know, creaminess, saltiness. Like, it all comes together so well. Yeah, and I feel like once you like go down the line, you know, ultimately you come back to the Simon. That's that's like the beauty of it. Shiro wants wanted you to enjoy his Simon, you know, his recipe, his lineage, you know, like this is it right here. And when you enjoy everything else, it's gonna all lead back to the Simon, and it's really good. For those of you guys wondering what Green River tastes like, it kind of tastes like shaved ice. So if you got like lemon lime shaved ice and you let the ice melt, it's kind of what this tastes like. Something about this burger just reminds me of like my childhood. Like it's not gonna be like a best, most epic smash burger or anything, but it's just so nostalgic. Done. Guys. We're not joking, this, this meal is epic. I mean, we finished everything. Food is that good. <sighs> but man, normally what would have been an awesome meal for me, it was like, it was a pretty, pretty much a marathon today. <laughs> Boy, did I enjoy that. My, uh, drink my melted shave ice drink. <laughs> And just to clarify, it's not a soda. It doesn't taste like soda. It literally tastes like shave ice got melted. But it's really good. Oh, what if you add carbonated water? Then that's just lemon lime soda. It'd be green swamp. 
because it bubbles in the swamp. Um, oh. I'm back, <laughs> y'all. And guys, make sure you stay tuned because we're gonna check out some place, possibly for dessert. What? So come Who's along there? with us. Come along with us. All right, y'all, if you have not guessed, we are in the Waimalu area. And when we're in Waimalu and we're this close to a certain tea shop, we have to check them out. And guys, this is actually one of our go-to places, right? Yeah. Oh, we forgot to mention uh, uh, Shiro's is right on top Cam Highway in Waimalu. Come by Button Up Cafe, the brunch place we did. Getting tea. Gonna get some tea now. Something light, you know, I, I don't think I can eat anymore. Tea time. Thank you. For once, guys, the smaller cup is mine. <laughs> For once. <laughs> y'all so we got our teas and i got a jumbo calpico green tea it's like my go-to here and the reason why i really like tea time is because they have these jumbo cups and if you guys want to know my secret to editing it's one of these i literally sip on this uh, all day while i edit mm. Ooh, sour what did you get so I got the sour plum jasmine green tea. <laughs> very simple, very refreshing. You know, I like my sour flavors. Mm. So good, guys. Mm. But yeah, another thing about tea time is this is the only place I think they have the sour plum flavor in mm. their teas. That's why we like coming here a lot. There's a- I don't think people know what sour plum is. Sour plum, you don't know what sour plum is. The one where you put in your mouth, you go, do that face again? <laughs> <laughs> but like Chinese preserved plum. Yeah, Chinese Pickled. preserved. <laughs> Chinese preserved plum. Yeah, it's kind of like like a very, very, very salty sour lemonade. But you get the grind, the rind, and everything. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, when you're like recovering or you're sick, you kind of crave it. Mm. And like I mentioned, we're in the Waimalu area, which is located kind of in between like Pearl City and Aiea-ish. We're really close to the Neil Blaisdell Park as well, where we always go to film our food adventures. So if you guys are in the area, like going to Pearl Ridge Mall, Swap Me, Arizona Memorial, like all of those things, it's right in the vicinity, kind of like maybe 20 minutes away from Honolulu town area. But yeah, definitely come out if you're in the area, get some awesome simon, soothe your stomach, and finish it off with some tea. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> and if you don't know what cow pico is, it's like that Asian yogurt drink. If you watch to all the boys series, you'll know what cow pico is. It's like the yakult or whatever. But... It's cow piss. <laughs> yeah, that's the flavor that I got. Yogurty, sweet, 
and tea, a little bit sour. Thank you so much for coming along with us on today's foodie adventure. And thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And thank you guys so much for watching and supporting us always. And if you have not already, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below as well. It helps us out a lot. Until the next one, stay safe. Don't get sick like I did. <laughs> that stomach virus ain't no joke. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Hope you had a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Peace out.